Welcome back to the Morales channel. My name's Ash. Players using their proof of work in a game to claim and own a game's finite assets is a powerful value proposition for players. But one of the big hurdles that Game Studios have been coming up against is managing the creation of in-game assets as NFTs on a large scale. Individually creating 10,000 or more unique assets isn't cost effective or practical. So today we're going to be exploring an asset factory script that I built utilizing the Morales API that I've used to save game studios a lot of time and made the process of integrating NFTs into games much easier. In this video I'll show you how it works and how to get it set up. Before we get started go to the link down in the description, clone down the project from the git repo so that you can follow along. So a very standard scenario for a game studio is that they have a design team who is producing all of the visual assets such as images animation videos, 3D models for all the assets that are going to be used in a game. And these are the assets that we want to use as metadata in our NFTs for, let's say, characters. So using this asset factory script, we're going to create a whole load of characters and we need all of the characters information individually to be different and all the images to be different. What we need to do is upload all these files to be hosted somewhere, in this case IPFS, and then associate these media files with metadata and then have that metadata be associated with an NFT corresponding to a character. And as I found out working with Game Studios, putting all this together without a script that leverages Morales would be painstaking, and this is where we're going to save most labor and time. The script actually makes it as simple as just dumping all your media files into the input folder once you've configured it all to suit the design of your assets needs. And then once you've got all your files in your input folder ready to go, you can then run the upload script that is included in the project that takes care of everything for you to do with creating the metadata that will be linked to the NFTs on chain. But before we do run the script, let's take a quick look under the hood to see how we're going to be randomly generating the metadata for these characters. The general idea behind the automation of information about a asset, a character in this instance, is that the metadata that contains that information, the JSON file, each field within that JSON file needs to be auto-generated, such as name or description. And what you want to do is plug those fields into perhaps a third-party API, as I've done here. So this game is going to be in a sci-fi universe, so I've plugged into an appropriate third-party API name generator that is going to generate random names for me. Now, this could be customized and expanded on massively to cater to your needs, but, but this makes generating thousands of pieces of unique asset data very easy when plugging into third-party APIs. But moving back to what the script does with our media files once we put them in the input folder, so first what it does is upload the media to a single directory on IPFS via Morales API, which in turn returns a unique CID string that it uses when the metadata coinciding with that particular media file is generated. The script then generates said metadata, finally uploading that also to IPFS and returns a unique CID for that too. The result of all this is an immutable chain of files perfectly linked to be referenced on chain as the core data behind our game's NFT assets. Let's go to our terminal and run the upload script. And that is it, the script has taken care of all of the hard work and given us what we need to reference in our Asset Factory contract. So we have all of the assets for our character's metadata uploaded. What we now need to do is go to our Asset Factory contract migration file included in the code base in our file explorer in Visual Studio Code. Open and edit it to build our game's character assets. Fill in the rest of the details. So the name is the name of our asset. Symbol is the shorthand. The Asset Factory contract is built using the ERC-1155 standard, so for our URI we need to include the CID for the metadata directory that is hosted on IPFS. This is the directory to our final metadata JSON file that will be for each of our characters. CURI is the contract level metadata which you can upload separately to the bulk upload but it just contains useful information about the asset type, in this case characters. Expiry isn't that important to what we're doing today but it's the time it takes for a whitelisting of a particular asset token to run out and it's just a buffer to ensure that we get a fair mint distribution on launch. Cost is the default cost to be transferred in, in a message's value when a player goes to claim their character in this case. So that's it for our migration file. It's set to build our contract 
So we're going to hover now over our Asset Factory contract in the File Explorer and click Build Contracts. This drop down option is only going to appear if you've installed the Truffle for VS Code extension, which we covered in our previous video, which I'll also leave in a link down in the description. Our contract's built successfully. Finally, we're going to use a Morales node to deploy our contract to the Polygon testnet. So in the File Explorer, let's go to the Truffle config file. In the Truffle config file, there is already a Matic network configured. So then we're going to go to right click on our contract again, our Asset Factory contract. Click Deploy, and then we're going to select Matic for our Polygon testnet deployment. Our character asset contract has now deployed successfully to the Mumbai testnet via Morales' speedy node. The next steps are to batch mint our characters, assigning our hosted metadata to token IDs that can then be owned and transferred by players. And that is it. I've got very exciting future plans for this asset factory to share with you. The bigger plan is to build out a front-end URI using this script as a back-end. What I want to do is represent this asset factory as a completely graphical interface for the user so that there's going to be no need for any setup or prior code knowledge like you have to have to run this script. And it's all going to be made possible and efficiently possible via Morales. Thank you so much for watching today. Happy biddling, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.